Hello, good evening.
We're going to wait just two more minutes for the rest of the people to come to the class. Okay. Good, good. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Friday, and that is very good. So we're going to rest, at least from the classes on the weekend. Okay, the first thing that we are going to check is the platform. So does everybody have access to the platform, right? So nobody's missing. Okay, and this is the class of today. As you can see here, there is the question already. And remember that tonight we need to do the homework 1.3. That's the one for today. We need to click on the option that is the best option. Only five questions. It's going to be mm -hmm. very easy. Piece of cake. Good. Sure, this is the homework for today, okay? Yeah, this is for today. So for yesterday was 1.2, 1. 1.1, 1. 1. Okay. 1, I'm sorry. Huh? And this okay, is, okay. yeah, that it will do. Thank you. Good. Okay, so we are going to check the attendance. Let's see. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Good. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeth Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Good. 
Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Perfect, so welcome to the class. We are going to start. Actually, we're going to continue. Yesterday, we were checking about paired conjunctions. We checked two of, or three, I guess, and we need to finish about that one. So we're going to continue with this. This is like the one, the last one that we checked last night, but this is uh, like a negative one. So neither nor. So it's going to be very similar. So the other one was either or, and this one is neither or, or neither. You can say neither, like in England. So Juan Miguel, could you please read this one? Okay. Neither nor. A student who did not complete the project received neither praise nor rewards. The staff neither followed the new policy nor asked for clarification. Perfect, very good. So that is it. So the difference between this and the other one is that when we use either or, you have the two options. So you have this or this. But when you use a neither and nor, you don't have any of the two options. It's like a negative, okay? So in this case, for example, students who did not complete the project received neither price nor rewards. So they should have been with two options, but since they didn't complete the project, they didn't get neither one nor the other one. So two options in negative. The staff neither followed the new policy nor asked for clarification. So they didn't do the two things, the two activities. So that is, that will be the situation here. So now, do you have any questions about this? No questions. Clear as a Go ahead. About, about the, the word praise in the first sentence. Okay. Yeah, praise is like when you, when you say to somebody, you did a very good job, you are amazing, you are something like that. So praise is that activity, when you say something good about a person. Uh, like a compliment, compliment? Like a compliment, yeah. So this one is like, yeah, you did it very well. Something. Okay. Congratulations. 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 So that is the situation, that is the word. Okay, I have a question for you. What is rewards for everybody? A prize, maybe. Very good, like a prize that you won because you did something right. So that is a reward. Good. And let's see in the other one, I don't see any questions. So any other question that you might have about this? Okay, so we're going to uh, continue with the practice. So we're going to, I'm going to give you just five, seven minutes for you to write two sentences using neither nor. That is the last one that we will check by now. So I will give you the time. If you have questions, of course, let me know. And I will leave there the, the presentation so you have the examples. Then you are going to share, of course.
Okay, have you finished already? Let's give it a try. Let's start with Juan Miguel. Could you please share? Okay, maybe the first one, people who don't study this semester neither pass the exam nor get good grades. Okay, good, neither pass the exam, very good. And the other one, uh, kids who don't follow the rules neither uh, get a good uh, behavior nor uh, be a good uh, adult maybe okay yeah that's very good perfect thank you so let's check with steve hello steve Villa corta okay not possible jose osmin Okay, so, so they neither started yesterday nor today. Okay, very good. And um, my team neither reached their world nor my world. Okay, very good. That was very good, perfect. Now, Danny. Okay. Um, I don't reach. I I don't reach neither the goal of ten, um, 10 km nor seven km. Okay, no. very good. Um, some student neither attend to class today nor yesterday. Very good, perfect. That was nice. Now, uh, Suleyma Yvonne. Okay, uh, the first one. Neither the blue one nor the red one are available in size eight. Very good, perfect. The second one, I will neither call you nor send you a message before midday. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Thank now, you. Irene. Hello, Irene. Not possible, okay. Let's see Giselle. Okay, um, neither, neither alcohol nor cigarettes are good for health. Okay, good. And the second one, she neither likes broccoli nor cucumber. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Hi, teacher. Excuse me, but I'm available now. Okay, go ahead. Okay. And, uh, neither... Excuse me. Okay. Neither of my arms is strong enough to lift that suitcase. And both this wall. No, it's not. Only that teacher. I have only this one. Okay, don't worry. That is fine. Thank you. Okay, Luis Umaña. Hello, Luis. Not possible for Luis either. Ramon. Hello, Ramon. I guess everybody's cooking dinner right now. Heidi. Okay, teacher. My dress is neither short nor long. It's the perfect size. Okay, good. Our teacher speaks neither loudly or softly. 
Very good, perfect, thank you. Jose Osmin, did you do it? All right, I don't remember. Not possible either. Marcos. Okay, so put in, um, um, the first one, drivers who live late neither make a safe driving nor arrive on time. Okay, good. And the second one, customers who don't pay on time neither have the services available nor avoid the penalty. Okay, okay, that is good, perfect, thank you. Roxana Asensio. Hi, good evening. Um, the first one is you can neither do a diet to your health nor your test will be worse. Okay, okay. And no, everything is okay or uh, I need to change something. Uh, yeah, just remember that when we use neither or nor is because there are two like consequences. For example, you can say you neither do a diet nor exercise if you want to keep on losing weight, for example, something like that. Yeah, and in this case, uh, I complement the sentence with your test will be worse. Okay, it's go a ahead. Consequence. Yeah, okay. Uh, next one, the holding neither needs to improve cells nor its loss. Lost. Okay, that's good. perfect. Thank you very much. Let's okay. see who's missing. Fernando. Yeah, I guess it's not possible. Francisco. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I'm here, but uh, just I joined to the mirroring, teacher. Okay, go ahead. So, Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I connect in this moment. Because... Okay, don't worry, not a problem. I thought that you have listened to the one. Okay, very good. So, yes, we have neither nor. So, the two actions are something that we're not gonna do or we were not able to do, something like that. We're going to move on. And uh, well, the topic, the first topic on the book about this module is this, continuum professional development. So the first question for everybody is what is that? What is continuing professional development? In your opinion, of course. Maybe it has to see with the performance. Okay, yeah, it's related to performance, definitely. What else, any other person? Who the opinion? Mm, I think it's a process uh, through the time in which um, you you are uh, gaining uh, some experience and some new skills and, and all of that is that uh, you can have a, a professional development. I don't know. Very good, perfect. So yes, actually it's something like that. It's like a process that you do even though you you have already skills, you have experience, you finish the university, but we know that we never stop learning, right? So the process is until the very last day of your life, of your work, whatever. So that is continuing professional development. So when you have a, like training, so there are some words here that are key, uh, training, management, learn, grow, marketing, work, leadership. So all those things are involved in this continuing professional development, of course. And you can get some other skills. So you are successful in your occupation. So you can develop your career and get other positions, things like that. 
Okay, so I have a little definition here. So this is CPD, that will be the name of that one uh, as an acronym. Let's see, Heidi, could you please help me reading this? Okay, teacher, the Nautical Institute defines continuing professional development, CPD, as the systematic maintenance, improvement, and brothering of knowledge and skills, and the development of personal qualities necessary for execution of professional and technical duties throughout the individual's working life at sea and ashore. Okay, so, from, okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. Adapted from Todd, summarized in Friedman and Woodhead, 2008. Okay, perfect. So that is like a, a very complete definition. Maybe the last part is not important, but that is it. I mean, it's like a systematic maintenance. So we as people, sometimes we need to, to keep on checking, right? To check what we need to do. We know that some, depending on the career, there are many changes. Some careers are more dynamic. Some positions are more dynamic than others. But anyways, in any career, any position, any company where you are, you need to move on. You need to learn new things, adapt yourself, check the changes that you have done. So you need to continue. So maintenance, improvement. What is improvement? Anybody? Getting better and better. That is it. Getting better and better. And broadening of knowledge and skills both are very important knowledge so it's things that you know of course know how to do and skills so you can actually do act, act with this new learning and the development of personal qualities that is also very interesting what how do you believe this happens in cpd how do you do you develop your personal qualities? Maybe through trainings. Through, through trainings. trainings. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? Any other? Sometimes with the experience that you have through the years and obviously with your uh, other kind of uh, courses that you get and knowledge that you get through the years. Very good. So everything is part of this experience maybe. that you will have, right? Everything. Maybe. Also through your assessments, maybe getting feedback. Maybe with, yeah, that's what Coaching. I want to say. Huh? Maybe <laughs> mentoring. That is true. I mean, there are many ways and we are going to check through the module on the first unit about those kind. I mean, there are many things that we can do for, for us to do continuing the professional development. Uh, because, you know, for example, it's not the same a workshop than a training. It's not the same than mentoring. So there are many methods, strategies, but the objective is the same for you to be better, not only a better worker, but also a better person. So, and they says for the execution of professional and technical duties. What is a duty? What is that word? Maybe responsibility. responsibility. Okay, some responsibilities that we have sometimes, some tasks that we need to accomplish. Good. Teacher. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't get the last expression about the definition. Can you go back? Oh, uh, yeah. Sea and ashore. Yeah, it, this is because it's taken from a nautical institute. So at sea, that means that in the ocean. In ashore, that means in the land. That's the only mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Good. Thank you. So th this is another one, a little bit shorter. Let's see. Um, Yvonne, could you please help me read this? Okay. What is CPD? A plain and structured approach to the maintenance and upgrading of skills source. 
Okay. CPD is the term used for the work environment, institutions such as college and universities tend to talk about PDP, personal development plan, both involve the same core ideas. Very good, perfect. So the definition is very short here. It's a planned and a structured approach. So that is very important. It's planned. It's like, what do I need? What do I need to learn? For example, you are learning English because of many reasons. Some of those are because you need, or you want to get a better position, you want to travel, you want, so you planned because you want to achieve something, you know that you need to get a skill in English. And uh, what structure, of course, because when you plan, you know that you will have like step number one, step number two, everything in a logical way, okay? Upgrading of skills, definitely. So this is an upgrade that we're getting as a person. And uh, the last part is very interesting. I mean, CPD is for work environment and PDP is more for colleges and universities. So that is the only difference, just in case in the future we, we see something like that, okay? Uh, what is the difference? This is a good question. What is the difference between college and university? Maybe colleges for technical careers. Okay, very good. Yeah, some the most of the technical careers they go to college. Sometimes you know in the U.S. mostly in the U.S. they have colleges and universities because the the structure of the plans when you study are kind of different. Some of those they have two, three, four years, and some careers are like depending on the certification that you are going to receive uh, only provided by universities. So that will be it. And core, what is core? Anybody? Main. Very good. Like the main idea, like the most important part, right? The, the heart, let's say of this. Good. So let's move on importance of CPD. Uh, okay, for first of all, could you please tell me in your opinion, why is important to have continuous professional development? Why? It's important be because, yes, you have to be competitive. Okay. And you have to learn uh, the new technologies in my case new technologies, new equipment, new configurations with all the, with all the things that uh, we work, in my case with I work. Very good. Yeah, for software engineering and that kind of works, I mean, the world is changing very fast. It's very dynamic. And of course, you need to, to know new programming languages, depending on your area, of course, you need to know many other things. Good, any other, uh, was saying something else? Why is important? Maybe to improve uh, the process uh, in, your, in your work. Very good, so that is another thing. I mean, some companies, uh, they pay for this sometimes, right? Because they want you to help them improve the processes, procedures, tasks, tools, anything that is involved in your area. Very good, any other? Sure, uh, maybe if we're living in a changing world and this demand, uh, Everyday new skill, new knowledge. That is very true. So there are some some skills that you cannot miss. I mean, for example, Excel. You know that any position, 
any career that you want to approach, that you want to, to do any, anything in any company, you need to know Excel. That is a must. If you are a manager, if you are IT, if you are reporting, I mean, Excel is something that you need to know. That is for sure. English nowadays, English is, I mean, very important. Now, everybody knows at least some English. So that is very important as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So it says importance of continuous development. So let's see who's going to read. Um, Giselle, could you please read the first bullet point? The importance of CPD. Professional development has assumed great importance in all sectors of education over the last few years. Good. Because uh, just, just one by one, okay. but what did you understand on this one? How do you express that in your own words? In my opinion, I think that uh, just like we were talking about a few minutes ago, uh, we have to, to be in constant education because uh, the world is changing and the professionals must to be prepared for all the changes that, 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 that are happening now. Then it's not the future, it's, it's happening now. So uh, this part of education and, and how uh, now all the, the, the schools and the universities are preparing the, um, the professionals for the, for the future. So I think that uh, it's like you said, it's a must. It's not a, a, a choice, it's a must that we have to be in constant um, development of knowledge and skills. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much, Giselle, very complete. And definitely that is happening in all sectors of education. So it doesn't matter your career, you need to learn English. It doesn't matter your career, your position, you need to learn some skills. Some are specialized, but some other are in general and you need to know those. Good. The second one is going to be for Irene. Are you available, Irene? Okay, not a problem. So Danny, could you please help me with the second one? Yeah, right. And focus on higher standards and improving quality. Okay, what did you understand on this one? Well, how do you explain that in your own words? Um, that is, um, I think that a CPD is based on on higher standards and and. and the, or the process of quality or the continuing improvement. Very good, that is it. So of course you have some skills right now. It's supposed that whenever you finish a training or workshop, then you will have more knowledge and you will know something different so you can have a different level of standards and you can bring that to the company. Also quality, you know that you always can improve that one. Even if your product or your processes are very good, there is always a chance for improvement. So that is very nice. Uh, the next one is going to be for Steve. The second one, right? The third one, please. Third, okay. <coughs> Sorry. Demands of increasing accountability means that every professional had an unprecedented need for ongoing professional development. Good. What did you understand? How do you explain that on your own words? Uh, 
Um, okay, Mr. What I understand is the okay. The, uh, it is it's it's the same. The time has uh, has changed about the past of the years, uh, in like the same way, the necessities or the issues what companies search or looking for has changed. The ability that they're looking for is constantly changing. So, uh, like he said, the demand of increasing uh, other uh, characteristics, I don't know, something like that, that we, we had to improve. So it's necessary uh, about the time is still changing. Okay, very good, <laughs> definitely, right? So the demand is increasing, but it's not only increasing about people, but it's increasing about the skills that you should have. So you can get a position, so you can bring something to the company. So yeah. definitely that is something. And now is, I mean, as I was telling you, a lot of people, they can do a lot of things. So a lot of people, for example, they speak English. So what else can you do besides speaking English, besides knowing Excel? So, of course, you need to move on and continue learning. Good. The last one is going to be for Luis Umaña. Hello, Luis. Okay, Ramon, can you please help us with that? No, Ramon. Mm, okay, Jose Osmin. Okay. okay. Ah, you're here. Yep. Good. Go okay. Uh, team, each, each sector has standard of competences for the assessment of performance. Very good. What do you understand on this one? How do you explain on your own words? Okay, so <clears throat> that every like company has a standards. So in order that, that we can reach them, like develop the skills in order to like reach a good performance or show like a, so like you have the ability to, to reach comp competences too, in order to like develop uh, the company. So, Okay. okay, very good, perfect, thank you. So yes, each sector, every industry, every company has a standards of competence. So meaning that is like a KPI. There are like performance indicators for not only for the people that work in the company, but for the company. If the company can do this or cannot do this, that is how the people in general is going to accept or not following with the product or company. So that is very important. And of course, as part of a company, we need to, we need to have those competences there. So this is actually the first part of this class. Let's see, Marcos, could you please help me reading this part? Okay. Um, this part, okay. Through professional development, you are more productive, efficient, and effective. Able to reflect on your learning, highlight gaps in your knowledge and experience, and track your learning to chart your progress. Better prepared to make new contributions in your workplace. Very good. So, yes, this is like what is going to happen if you continue learning, right? So through professional development, you are more productive. So meaning that you are going to create, produce more products or services, efficient and effective. So a question for you, what is the difference between efficient and effective? 
for me? For everybody, any anybody can answer that. Oh, okay. okay. But of oh, course, okay. you you want you can do. Efficient and effective. Efficient, I think, is something related with uh, the the resource you use to do some process. If the amount of resource you use is less than the other one, you are efficient. Than the other person used, for example. And effective is the time that you uh, invest and do something. And if you do it fast, you are more effective. effective. Okay. Very good, perfect. So efficient and effective, of course, they are very similar, but not the same. Efficient is related to resources, including time. If it's going to be very fast and with no, not many resources, you are efficient. Effective is related to the goals that you have. For example, um, in soccer, you know that they say, oh, the team was very effective because they shoot two times and one was a goal. So that is very effective, 50% of effectiveness because you were accurate in the goal that you want to achieve, okay? And then it says able to reflect on your learning, highlight gaps, mm, okay? So what is highlight gaps? What do you understand on this one? Maybe the first one is gap. What is a gap? In your knowledge, it says. <laughs> A gap is uh, the, uh, this, this part you are missing to, to achieve something. Very good. Or a lack. A lack. Very good. So it's something that is, you miss a little bit for you to reach that goal, right? That is a gap. And it says highlight gaps in your knowledge. And sometimes we don't know that we don't know. I had a friend, he was from England, and he used to say that. He used to say, Education is when you really learn something that you didn't even know that you didn't know. So when you really learn something, then you get the knowledge, you have the power. And then it says an experience and then track your learning to charge your progress. So that is also very important when you are getting some professional development. You need to track if you are learning how you are moving this to the companies, to the position, to the task that you do, okay? Better prepared to make new contributions in your workplace. I guess that will be it. Do you have any questions on this little introduction? Not by now. Good. So let's check something else. Oh, this is not yet. So we're going to do, uh, let me think. Yeah, this is the one that we're going to check. So we're going to do a little reading about benefits. Okay. So we're going to check and then everybody that reads is going to say what you understood about this one. We're going to start with, let's see, Roxana, could you please read the first and second paragraph? Hello, Roxana. Not possible. Ready Fernando. I'm sorry? I know that she's writing the Zoom chat. Oh, uh, okay. She, yeah, she's not available. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Not a problem, Roxana. Good. Okay. So, Fernando, is it possible for you? Okay, no problem. Francisco, is it possible for you? Right, teacher. Okay, the, if it's possible, uh, just read the first and second paragraph. Okay, teacher. There are many factors that go into behind a good employer. And one particularly important aspect is professional development. But what is professional development? And how can you ensure you are allowing your employees to learn, grow, and achieve job satisfaction? Professional development can take several forms, but I'll have the same purpose to offer employees training and development to outskill them, increase their confidence, and okay. keep up, up, up 
ever changing technology and business landscape. Very good, perfect. What did you understand on this one? Okay, teacher. Um, Okay, and the uh, purpose is uh, how uh, we understand the uh, uh, is a, a good uh, employer. Uh, in this case, uh, or, or in my opinion, uh, a good employee is a, a person who uh, have many skills for doing uh, 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 the, the work and uh, uh, for uh, efficiency, efficiency in, in fast way. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. So that is true, there are many things that can, an employer can do so you can develop. There are many strategies, but of course the main purpose is to have us upskill uh, everybody. So we're gonna check some words here. Uh, let's see, uh, let me check. What is ensure? Anybody? To make sure. To make to, sure, yeah. Very good, to make sure. So what is achieve? Reach. Very good. So when you reach a goal, right? What is several? Many. 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 Good. What is upskill? Mm. So to get better, something like that. Get more knowledge or improve uh, the skill of every employee. Very good. Sub so skill is to get more skills or to upgrade the skills that you have. Very good. And uh, landscape. What is a landscape? Okay, a landscape only that word is like a view that you have. For example, when you go, somebody said yesterday that. He went to the El Pital, right? So when you are on the top of the mountain and you have a landscape, a beautiful landscape. In this case, a business landscape is the view of the business, right? Okay, the next part is going to be for Maria Alejandra. Okay, teacher. Uh, with the right professional development training, it will help your people to progress to your business and achieve their goals, feel valued, have more confidence, improve efficient, and keep a skill up to date and do better work. Very good. So what did you understand on this one? Uh, I think that the, the this specific activity you improve your professional development or different training and you improve your your better work because you have more skills or you have more efficient because you have a more alternative to do your work or and okay perfect very good thank you thank so you. that is true i mean everything that it says here is true so if you provide the right professional development training so this is very important the right is not only any any training so the right training what is going to happen well the progress through their business and achieve their goals every everybody's going to work as a team and um well, you are going to achieve goals in an easier way. The employees, they also feel valued. They feel happy, right? So if you feel valued and you feel that you are a very important part of the company, of course, 
you will do a better job. You will have more confidence in the work that you're doing, right? So you are going to be like, no, this is like this. I'm going to do it like this because this is the right way. Definitely improve efficiency and efficient, right? So keep skills up to date. Remember that we say that we live in a dynamic world and do better work, definitely. So everything that says here are part of the benefits that we can have for this. So it says balancing learning with day-to-day -day duties. So the first two, uh, well, only two here, are going to be four, let's check. Hold on, Juan Miguel. Okay, teacher, the two paragraphs. Yeah, please. Okay, it can sometimes be difficult to find a balance between professional development and ensuring employees can continue with their daily tasks and duties. Finding times that suit multiple employees can be almost impossible to arrange, especially as people spend more time working in a remote or hybrid environment. However, there are solutions to this, which means, which means employees can receive the training and development they want while ensuring they don't fall behind in their duty, duties. We'll discuss this option below, these options below, along with types of professional development and how encouraging and how encouraging it benefits your business. Good. What did you understand on this one? Mm. I I think it's about um how to um how to um be in continuous um professional development, but a uh, it talks about a uh, when uh, maybe when the, the employees don't uh, don't have the enough time i think for maybe take for something for 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 example for a uh, they don't have enough time to take one course to get another skill or another a uh, um uh, i another grade of competition maybe um in uh, i i think i think something like we're doing uh, right now in the in the main time uh, from 8 to 5 or the regular uh, schedule for people we couldn't uh, have these these lessons or these classes, so we need, we have to to um, to take these courses or this uh, kind of uh, cap I don't know is the right word is cap capacitation. No, I I don't think. Uh, you can say training, training, uh, training. <laughs> In order time, in order to not in uh, to not um, um how to say interfere to not, yes to not interfere with your with your main duties or your main work I I think it's related with with this with this text that I read before very good perfect yes actually that is so true I mean. Uh, Companies, they want you to know a lot of things about your position, but also they want you to do your job. So there yes. should be a, a balance, right? Between the time that you spend doing your job and the time that you spend learning some other skills or upgrading the skills that you already have. So sometimes it's difficult. Uh, sometimes you, uh, the company pays and they that is the effort that they do. And sometimes also, you as an employee also make the effort, you spend time. I know that everybody has have been Saturdays or maybe Sundays in a training, right? It's difficult, it's difficult because you want to relax or, or do many other activities, but 
if you want to upgrade your skills, if you want to be better, that is the effort that everybody and, and that is a reason why most of us are, are in this class at this time. That is so right? true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is something that we do because we really want to be up to date in everything, right? For example, in English, you know that if you if you read and research, you are going to find the latest trainings in English. Or if the company sometimes, if they, they can pay you a training in other country, but you need to know English. So definitely. So this is something yes. that is going to help. Okay, so, so the best advice that I can tell you is to speak. You can speak and I can be quiet the whole class. <laughs> Let's check some vocabulary. Uh, let's, oh yeah, that is true. Let me just check the vocabulary and then we're gonna check the terms. Uh, there are not many words here as I remember. What is almost? You're about to. Good, the explanation. You're about to achieve something or get to something. Uh, what is something that is hybrid? It's a mix. Very good. It's like a combined way for doing something. Uh, what is, let me think. Um, there are no other words here. Okay. Now, yes, we're going to check the attendance. It's middle time. Good. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. <coughs> Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here, mister. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Very good. So let's continue. Let me then just check. Perfect, Francisco. I got you. Good. Let me just check here. Okay, so why is professional development important? Maria Alejandra, could you please read this part, the two paragraphs, please? Okay. Uh, the importance of professional development uh, should, shouldn't be underestimated. From underestimated. Underestimated from employees' point of view. Those who are career drive, driven, driven. Mm -hmm. driven and have set goals, we want to make sure their employee, employer, employer is helping them to achieve them, <clears throat> allowing employees the ability to grow and improve their professional skills will be rewarding not only for them, but for your company as well. 
we have explored why professional development is important for an employee, but I can also be an in, invaluable, invaluable, invaluable tool for your business for a multitude of reasons. Good. What did you understand on this one? Maybe the uh, the different employees have a different point of view, or that you develop a different mm -hmm. skills. But it depends that your or your professional skills you need to develop, and. Mm -hmm. It, and it's very important because uh, these skills you have uh, with you and and under and uh, this and um, no se puede estimar or that and uh, that how important or that you share with uh, the others. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, definitely. So um, it's important for employers, employees, I mean. So because you are going to grow, uh, you know that everything that you learn is going to be yours. So if the company pays for that one, or if you have a scholarship like this, that is from English. I mean, that's good because you will be able to keep that knowledge. It's going to be yours forever. So that is Teacher, nice. I think it's it's a win to win relationship. Wins the company and we win too. Definitely, yeah. Because if you have more knowledge, of course, you are going to be more efficient. You are going to work better. You can do many things in the company. Definitely. Okay, let's check some words here. What is underestimated? Maybe when we when Don't you believe it. something is under a under certain level, Don't maybe give the, the okay. don't give the value that it, it uh -huh. deserves. Under right. level. Yeah, when you take for granted something, right? So it's like ah, this is not that good, but actually it's good. So let's see what else. Um I don't think that, oh, well, invaluable. That is very easy, but what is that? It can be measured. It cannot be measured. So very good, that is it. I don't think there are many others here. So let's check the benefits to your business if you are part of it. So this one is going to be for Steve. Steve, you are gonna read the first, second, and third paragraph. It's going to be very short. Okay. So why is professional development important? If you encourage professional growth, it will benefit your business in a new manner of ways. Better employees retention. A business that encourages training and development is one that's going to appeal to professional career driving people. Nobody is going to produce <clears throat> to produce their best work knowing that their career is, is, is staying man. Uh, so by training your employees, you're putting them in the best position possible to reach their goals. Could you please read <clears throat> the next one as well because it's related. Uh, okay. As a result, not only will you improve employees' retention, but also enter some of the best and bridge test talent brightest. Uh, brightest, brightest, right? Brightest. Brightest talent your industry has to offer. Recruitment is expensive and comes with a certain degrees of risk. So it benefits employers to upskill their existing uh, trustworthy 
things and, and attract the right people. Okay, what did you understand on this part? Nothing, mister, just read it. <laughs> Let me read it again. <laughs> Not a problem, that's why we're here to, to, to practice, <laughs> so don't, don't worry. <laughs> So let's read together. So it says the first one is better employee retention. This is a business that encourages training and developing is one that's going to appeal to professional career driven people. So definitely, I believe that everybody, you want to grow, right? You want a better position, a better salary, a better office, something like that. So this is natural in human beings. So definitely, if you help your employees to be better and get ready for a better position, they will be there in the company. And then it says, nobody is going to produce their best work knowing that their career is stagnant. Oh, okay, this is a, a word that I want to ask you. What is that, stagnant? When you feel that you are not growing, maybe? Yeah, that is, you are there, not able to move, right? So something like that good so by training your employees you're putting them in the best position possible to reach their goals so that is definitely true i totally believe in that one and then it says as a result not only will you improve employees retention but also entice some of the best and brightest talents your industry has to offer so entice is like discover right when you're training i believe that you have seen that one when you're in a training there are some people that are very active, that they know a lot of things, that they participate and they are willing to do many things. And then the boss says, mm, okay, this person could be a better, a, a leader here in the company, could be in a different position. So that happens. So it's a window. It's a window for everybody there. And what else says, uh, recruitment is expensive. That is also very true. To train again another person for another position and then also train in this continued development, I mean, it's not, it's not cheap, okay? And the time and the process also, the operations in the company are not going to be efficient, fast. Many things will happen. So definitely, it's very good for people to retain in the company employees. That is something, something that we really, companies really need. And um, any opinion on this first part? I believe this is a very good point. Do you have any opinion? Oh my God, it's very good. I think that uh, companies see this, uh, the training as an investment. That's just like, um, I have money and I want to spend it on my employees. Just, uh, me as a manager or as a director, I don't know. I see this, this as an investment because I want results. So that's my opinion. That is true. So they invest in you so you can produce more for the company. So it's, as uh, Heidi say, it's a win-win situation, right? You win and the company wins. And if we work as a team, everything will be fine. Any other opinion on this one? Okay. Maybe, so, maybe, uh, go ahead, maybe go ahead. Um, um, I think in most of cases, uh, the, the, the um, continuing, con Continuing, yes, continuing professional development mm -hmm. must be um, attached to uh, development career inside your your uh, workplace because you can study something and the other month another training and the other month another and 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 being in a situation like that, but if you don't have a, the enough, a, I don't know if the word is correct, enough clarity, claridad, no sé. Yeah, clarity, it, or clever, okay. you're not clever enough. 
if you're not clever enough, you will be studying and studying, but in many ways, not, not in the way that your business is, um, not, not in the lane, in, in the lane of your business, okay? So I think there, there must be a, a career plan inside your workplace, okay? Uh, in my case, uh, I, I am studying English because uh, obviously uh, we have a scholarship within support, but uh, obviously, like you said before, and I think other the other uh, uh, partners in the class, um, we want to improve our our uh, language skills, maybe. Uh, for understanding the new manuals, the, the new things in, in my career, but also uh, to get a better job maybe, uh, to get um, a better salary or something like that. Very good, perfect, thank you, Juan Miguel. So definitely that is, and you are very true. I mean, companies, they should have a uh, career path for everybody. They should invest the time to investigate what do you want? What do you want to do? What skills do you have? And then provide you the training for you to be the person that you want to be within the company, not in other companies. Yes, yes, yes. Good, perfect. So let's check some vocabulary to see if we can check into that one now. Okay. Well, we checked this already. What what is this stagnant is stagnant meaning again? Yeah, like, it's like uh, when you cannot move, when you cannot move forward or backward. Uh, kind of static. It's kind of static, yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay, what is brightest? Finds more. <laughs> Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a superlative, right? So something or somebody that bright, that shines. Good. And I don't think there is any other. Okay. The next one is, Mr. Martin. go Excuse ahead. Excuse me. What is the meaning of trustworthy? Ah, oh, very good. Trustworthy. Anybody? Um, reliable. Reliable, very good. When you trust, in this case, in the team. So you, you know that everybody has the skill for helping you doing your job. So that is trustworthy. Okay, uh, motivate and improve results. This is going to be for Heidi. Okay, if employees feel that their employer values them, then then they're far more likely to have boosted motivation and feel fulfilled in their roles. And when an employee is motivated, you're going to produce better results for your customers and ultimately you. Good, Build but uh, until there, that, that will be okay. it. And what do you understand on this one? Um, that as much as you feel motivated, uh, the, um, in that same way, you're going to do a better job. And that is so true. I believe that everybody agrees, right? So when you are motivated, you, I mean, you are going to be there for the company. You are going to do your job and you are going to do what is needed to be done. Yeah, you're so, going to feel identified with exactly. the company. I, I believe that is very important to be honest with you, Heidi. I mean, I guess here in El Salvador, in the most of the cases, people, they they go to their job like, oh my goodness, I have to go to my work and, and things like that. You're not motivated because you are not, you don't feel part of the company. That happens a lot. Maybe not only here, but around the world. But yeah, motivation is something very important. And that is, I believe, one of the most important motivations. You are a valuable person in in the company so that is very important 
uh, I know it's difficult because what motivates people sometimes are many different things. For some people, money is motivation. For some other people, it's just a congratulation. Hey, you did a very good job. Or I don't know, there are many ways for people to get motivated. But I mean, training provides you the skills, definitely is one of those. Any other opinion about motivating purpose for results? Okay, we agree then. So Yvonne, could you please read the next one? Build confidence. Okay, build confidence and encourage collaboration. When teams have confidence in each other, they are far more likely to collaborate. Only when they collaborate and have trust in one another will teams produce their best work. Good. What did you understand on this one? Uh, I think there is important if you know your team and you have the confidence that they have the skills to make a good job and you don't have to uh, watch the work that every people in the team is doing because uh, every every person in the team have the the duties that have to to reach, and you know that your job uh, or the work will be okay because they they are the right persons. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Very complete your uh, your. Opinion, so definitely, I mean, you are going to be more confident because you know what you're doing, right? So you have the skills. And well, the second part, encourage collaboration also. I mean, when you go to a training with different people from the company, I mean, you become closer. You know that you can trust them and definitely it's going to be easier for that one. Uh, there are no words here that we would like to check. Um, likely, maybe. What is to be likely? Probability. Okay, very good. It's probable to something happen. Is it is it the opposite of a like? Okay, okay. A like is like similar, and likely is like something that is is probably going to happen. Okay. And the other one is unlike, of course. Okay, the next one improved efficiency. We know that one, but of course we're gonna practice and read. Uh, let's see. Irene. Okay, teacher. Yeah, you're going to read uh, improve. Improve efficiency. When employees are provided with the right training and development, they will be given all the skills and knowledge they need to do their job well. Has they learn new skills, procedures, and ways of working? When these are put into, into practice, they will have higher levels of efficiency. That means better results in a shorter amount of time. And the other part as well, please. Okay, with their new skills, your employees will even be in a better position to offer suggestions and improvements to your business as a whole. Good, so what did you understand on this one? I, I understand about it that when the employees are, are well, are, receiving an excellent training and they can develop their abilities and skill and they are uh, and they are and they are uh, able to give, to do an excellent job and give a better results 
Perfect, definitely. So that is yes. it, right? Of course, if you have the skills, you you will be more efficient. So you will work better and the results are going to be much better. The other one says credibility. That is going to be for, let's see, Marcos. Okay. Um, credibility. Um, okay. Uh, by encouraging, encouraging professional development, you increase the credibility of your business in two ways. You'll be known as a strong employer within your industry and that you care about your employees and being able to showcase to your clients that your people are highly trained will improve their trust in your business. The other one as well, please. This point will help you to attract both new clients and the best talent to fill new roles. Very good, perfect. What did you understand on this one? Uh, okay. Um, for example, the, okay, um, when you train, when your employees are well trained, you have a good name in the market. So the clients will know that the service or the product that you offer to them, uh, they know the uh, uh, quality and they are well um, developed, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I think that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So definitely, right? So this is a very good point, actually, credibility, because there are two ways you can get credibility. But the first one is because you are going to be a strong employer, meaning that all the people will say, oh, I want to work in that company because they offer, they offer this and this, this in training, of course. So yeah, when that happens, well, only with that, yeah, people know that that is a very good company and of course your clients will know that the people in that company they have all the skills needed so you can do a very good job so it's as Heidi say a win-win situation very good any other opinion about this um just one go ahead um to be a success uh, company, you have to have this, um, could be this feature, I guess, credibility, because if your uh, customer believe on you, they will, well, it depends of the, of the business that the company gave. So that's in, that's really important, like a company where we work, because I don't know if I I remember that you uh, told us that you work for uh, I don't know if if is a uh, call center. Uh, Google, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, those companies need the credibility by the other customer invest on you. So that's why it's one uh, really important feature for uh, some companies on different uh, on the different industry. Definitely. So definitely. So credibility is one of the most important things for companies. So, and this is a very good way for for them to get them. I mean, if you are trained and you know what to do, and people, and uh, not only people that wants to work but also clients know that one of course they are going to come and you are going to have all the businesses that you want good uh let's check some vocabulary let's see showcase what is showcase maybe all the all the things that you did before uh, and those things uh, are to show your clients what you what what you do 
in your industry. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. That is it. And what is feel to feel? Uh, to, to achieve to feel. something like that. that complete. No. Very good. To complete, like when you are, yeah, completing or when you fulfill the requirements for something, mm -hmm. right? Very good. Or like a form that you are doing that one. And the last one in this part is going to be for, let's see, for Danny. Uh, the last part, improve. Improve, yeah. Okay, improve the association planning process. By training multiple members of your team on the skills that you are crucial to the business, it enables your business to run smoothly as team members leave or retire. Upskilling current employees is far more cost effective than recruiting, especially management and senior level staff. Good. What did you understand on this one? Um, I think it's, it's related to the succession plan when um, someone with a um, critical position or, yeah, a critical position is, is about to retire or, or I don't know, they just left to have to train another person that, uh, that had to complete that, that uh, or, or, or occupy that role. And you have to, to training. Very good, definitely. So, uh, yes, you need to. I mean, uh, you can see there that it's much better to train people and to retain people than recruiting, right? Uh, especially, says in management and senior level staff. Of course, it's a good opportunity for other people to grow within the company, but for the company itself, it's going to be more expensive. So, it's not a good idea. Any other comment on this one? Um, I teacher, I have one. Uh, just, I don't know if we can say reuse, reuse and employees. When you say employees, reuse, reuse, uh, reuse and employee, because uh, you reuse in the way that you um, training your personal, I guess. Okay, yes, I mean, yeah, you will uh -huh. be able to, because, to train uh -huh. them. Because uh -huh. you, you could avoid to, to invest on someone new that maybe that could be expensive for the company. Yeah, definitely. Attrition is a big problem in other, all the companies, I guess. Because, yeah, attrition. Train, attrition, yeah, that's the name. Uh, attrition is when people leave the company. And uh, it's one of the most common KPIs on companies. So yeah, it's, it's not good. It's not good because you need to train people. And uh, I know that some industries are really difficult. I mean, you need to have some skills, but all the companies, they try to keep their employees happy so they can avoid recruiting, looking for other people is just uh -huh. more expensive, definitely. Good, let's check about some types of professional development. The first part is going to be for Luis Sumaña. Not here, Ramon, are you here with us? Not possible, let's see, Roxana. Okay, Francisco Eduardo. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so it's going to be this part. Okay, teacher. Types of professional development due to work lot at the difficulties involved with organizing for office-based, remote, and hybrid employees. 
e-learning is becoming the preferred method for developing employees' skills. There are two main types of development and learning. Okay, very good. So what did you understand on this one? Um, I don't uh, uh, understand uh, what teacher, but uh, uh, the prof said the difficult to training to training for employees, and say that the better option is uh, in for uh, nowadays is e-learning. Actually, that is says okay, definitely. So now. Uh, Yes, there are many people that they have to go to the office. Some people, they stay at home and they're working remote. And some other people, they have a hybrid way of working, right? So e-learning is one of the most common methods for developing employee skills. So this is like the one we're using right now, right? So oh, I'm very happy to, to, to be honest with you too to teach from home. And I believe that also you are very happy. I mean, to be uh, all the morning or on Saturday or Sunday in class, sometimes, I mean, you have to go there and there are many things, but when you are at home, it's very, very convenient. Good. Well, so I think uh, in the next year is for the most common, uh, to be uh, the most common uh, the, uh, learning. Yeah, definitely. The pandemic, I mean, was very bad. We <laughs> lost a lot of people and was very, very bad. But some good changes came, right? Because in the past, it was very difficult to get a job and be at home. Now, I mean, it's, it's amazing, right? And let's see some words here. I don't think there are words here. Okay, so the first type is going to be for, let's see, for Juan Miguel. Okay, teacher. Synchronous. Synchronous learning means each student is taught together in a tutor led online or physical environment. It requires students to come together to learn as a group at set dates, times, and locations. What did you get into this? Uh, for me, synchronous uh, type of learning is the traditional. When you go in, 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 a, in a group, in a group uh, to, to uh, a facility in order to get uh, um, a training. Okay, very good. Yeah, synchronous is like uh, everything is together. So everybody, I mean, it's like the one that we're having right now, right? So we're in the class together and actually we have like a hybrid because yeah, we're in the class together, but some activities you do it by your own. But synchronous is like that. We're together, we are doing the activities, we're practicing, we're doing things together. So that would be the synchronous. Let's see if there is any, okay. It says in a tutor led online. So this is something interesting, a tutor led. So it means that there is somebody like in this situation, I am the teacher, I'm like the tutor, right? So that would be it. Sometimes it's a physical environment. It could be online or it could be a physical and uh, yeah, everybody, for example, they, you know that at eight, you can come to the class. You know that uh, if you notice, I am always uh, five minutes before the class. So if you have questions, if you need anything, those five minutes are for those. And uh, well, it's going to be at the same time on the same channel. Then we have the other one, asynchronous. So that is going to be uh, the first Let's see, the first three paragraphs is going to be for Jose Wilfredo. Asynchronous. Asynchronous learning is self-direct with all the material provided 
to the student who can learn as and when they have the capacity or pause on the benefit of self-directed learning goes into detail about asynchronous learning as well as the importance of self learning in adult learning. Asynchronous learning is in the inc increasingly common option to many businesses as it allows employees to learn consistently even if they're unable to do so at the same time. It's also cost-effective and reduced pressure by being self-directed. Good. What did you understand on this one? Um, well, uh, for, that, uh, for that case, maybe it's when you have, well, you don't have to be in a group to, to learn. If not that you, if not that they provide all the material, and then you could review that material in your spare time and continue a start or continue learning. Perfect, very good. That is it. Actually, it's like, I mean, it's like the platform that we do in uh -huh. English, right? Some like that. So imagine that we don't have the classes. We just you just go to the to the platform. Uh, answer mm -hmm. the questions, upload videos or documents, things like that. So it's exactly like that. In your own time, I, you do it. Yeah, I have the experience. Uh, one of uh, one time, or once, to to be on a synchronous learning or could be training. Interesting. Oh, how how was the experience? Was it good? What what do you believe? Uh, to be honest, was really hard because uh, you don't have someone to ask. Just you have to review the training and then you have to, but the difficult was that you have to, uh, one that you have to, that you have to take one test about every, what, uh, every could be 20 pages that you review. So it was really hard, but uh, thanks God I pass every course. Very good, perfect. Yeah, I mean, that's probably one of the most difficult. Sometimes even when the directions are clear, sometimes you want to be sure or you want to know exactly you, what you want to, or the platform or the requirements are, there are many things that yeah. you need to ask for. Yeah, yeah that, that's right. And I guess that is because you are custom or you, uh, yep, I guess that we could say that we are custom to ask to someone. That is true. Yeah, it's, it's much easier when you have somebody in front and you say, hey, I don't understand this. Can you please explain? And then say, oh, what you need to do is this. Or sometimes you can ask, is it possible for me to do it this way? Maybe not the way that you are asking. And yeah. maybe the tutor says, yes, it's possible. Oh, no, it's not possible. But then yeah. you, without the tutor, it's, it's kind of difficult. I, I know. Yeah, you, you have to create one. I guess that the word is criteria, I guess. I don't know. Criteria, yeah. Yeah. That, that is true. So. And you need to research and I mean, yeah, it's kind yeah. of difficult. <laughs> it's difficult, but well, that's happened, that's happened. So you have to learn a lot. Yeah, sometimes that's the way it is, right? Okay, uh, the other one says it there and that part is going to be for, uh, let's check, Heidi. Okay, there are numerous of Courses employees can take across many areas of development. It's up to the employees to devise a staff development plan. And it's important to listen to what employees themselves want to learn. Most courses can be complete over a number of days, weeks, or months, depending on how much they can do alongside day-to-day -day tasks, while others can take a number of years. Okay. Very good. What did you understand on this part? 
that you have to listen on, or also have to listen to the employees because uh, we we know what we are we we kind what kind of knowledge do we need, right? You uh, you can you cannot um, uh, how would you say engañarse a sí mismo? Uh, cheat yourself. Cheating yourself. Uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. You, uh, you cannot cheat yourself. You already know yourself as well as to know your 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 areas of, of improvement. Very good. Perfect. Yeah, that is something that is very important, actually. Uh, I know that, I mean, for different positions, there are different skills that you need to get. But sometimes it's a very good idea for employers to ask people in the company, what do you want to learn? Uh, or if it's not possible, at least how, right? Do you want somebody to come and train you? Do you want to get some books? I don't know. There are many ways or many things that you can ask them. And feedback, get feedback from people is also very, very important. Okay, okay. and that's, go ahead. And and also, uh, if 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 employees do what they are good on or what they like, they will also do a better job. Definitely, they will be happy not only at work but also at the training. So, they will be more willing to learn and to do their job. Definitely. So it says below are some examples of staff development. Marcos, could you please read the first one? Okay. Um, with uh, technical skills. Yeah, please. Okay. With industries, technologies, and um, process always changing. It is, it is vital that Why the not? team keeps up. Bio, okay. Bio that your teams keep up to date. Is these skills that contribute to work? providing the service your clients are looking for, whether it is digital or physical. Physical. Ensuring your people, physical, okay. Ensuring your people are fully trained and up skills allows, to, allows them to make your clients happy. Very good, perfect. What did you understand on this? Um, what I understand, okay. Um, that in order to provide the best quality and services and products to our client or the client that the company or enterprise has, and it's important to keep up to date the, with the standard or the process with the new technologies uh, or employees. So it's important to keep training them. Very good, perfect. So yeah, technical skills are oriented to, I mean, machinery or software or things that some people, they, they need to know, like, I don't know, the interface of something. So they need to know things like that. So that is more oriented into that one. Uh, let's see, there are no words here that we would like to check. So the other one says management training. That is going to be for Giselle. Okay, management training. By offering training to managers, it increases the productivity of their teams as they are given the skills and knowledge to apply strategies. Delegate, deal with conflict and offer training of their own. As managers learn new skills, this will filter down and improve productivity and motivation. Good, what did you understand on this? I think that managers are the heads of the areas on the, the, the department. So if the main piece is weak or 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 they don't have the enough knowledge and in, in the their skills maybe are not at, at the day, their teams uh, maybe uh, or their they people, uh, they might not be prepared to 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 give their best. 
for the company and for the clients. Very good, perfect. Yeah, that is so true. I mean, uh, if you say something that is very important, if the head of the department is weak, definitely it's not gonna work, right? So, or maybe it's gonna work, but not the way it should be. So, because uh, yeah, they have to deal with conflicts. They have to deal with many kind of situations and definitely they have to be ready for that one. Nice. And the next one says teamwork training. That is going to be for Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. Okay, not possible. Irene. Teamwork training. Okay. As previously mentioned, mentioned, mentioned. if a mention has previously mentioned if a team is confident working together, they're going to produce the best results and understand that the overall goal that team has. This helps teams to come together as one and dissuade any dysfunctionality or clicks. Clicks, okay. So good. What did you understand on this? Okay, teamwork training. I understand that this team are working together for produce the best results. And these results are important for uh, for a team, right? And they help them together to come the best result. Very good, perfect. So that is it. I mean, remember that even when you have the best skills, of course, you need to work with other people, other departments, other companies sometimes. So you need to be ready to, to, to listen, to provide feedback, to bring ideas and uh, work together as one. Uh, something very important is to be identified with the goal of the company or the department. So together you work as a team and achieve the goals from the department. So that is very, very important. Good, good. So, uh, well, you know, what is this functionality and clicks that is like a gap, right? The next one, it says higher education, Steve. Sorry, Mister. Do you have Do you have Rick? Uh, yeah. So that will be a higher education if you are <laughs> English. Okay. Hi, higher education. Some e-learning providers offer the opportunity to take part-time higher education qualifications. However, this type of course will take a number of years to complete it. <laughs> what did you understand on this? Uh, another way, another um, maybe opportunity to improve our uh, <clears throat> our uh, development, something like that. Uh, I think maybe this kind of higher education is for people who can uh, buy the time, buy his job or something like that. They don't have the resource the the time time like resource so they get another kind of opportunity like uh, in part-time but the problem like uh, the paraphrase says it will be it take a long time to complete it yeah that is so true so it's a very good thing and some companies actually they they helped you get in this one. Some of they uh, pay or partially pay or get you a discount for higher education. Yeah. Maybe the problem is that, that is, it takes a while. And uh, it not only for, I mean, a bachelor degree, but also master degree or doctorate, things like that. So many companies that they are doing that 
because they want you to be part of the company as long yeah. as it's possible. So definitely. Good, perfect. So we're not gonna check the other one because it's like, uh, uh, the time has come to an end, but it says planning your professional development and there are some things that you have to do. For example, self-assessment. What do you do well? And what could you do better? So that is one thing that we can do by ourselves. Self-assessment. What do I need to do? What do I need to improve? Then goals. Where do you want to be? What skills do you need to get there? So definitely everybody has to set some goals. Personal, professional, in the company. So things like that. Timeline, definitely. Where do you want to be in three, five, or ten years? In one year, I mean, whenever we finish the English classes, where you are going to be. So, regular learning, undertake training to improve your skills and knowledge. Frequent periods of learning helps you to retain information. So, you need to continue the learning. You cannot stop. Opportunities, keep proactive and grab opportunities as they arise. Sometimes, opportunities, they pass through just once so if you don't take advantage of those they say goodbye forever banish distractions give yourself time and space to learn ensuring minimal distractions so that happens for example right now i know that every a lot of people is working or some people are driving eating there are distractors that we have so that depends on you i mean we are hitting class if you want to take advantage, you will be here with us and provide feedback or comment or speak. That is up to you. And keep track, definitely. Make regular notes, evaluating your progress so you can keep developing. So all those things you can do yourself so you can plan what you want to do and where you want to be. That is very important. Good, good. So, do you have any questions before we finish the class of today? Not by now, teacher. No question. Good. So, let's do a little wrap up. What is CPD? Continual professional development. Continuing professional development. Very good, perfect. And why is that important? To be a better professional and have the opportunity to, to, to grow in the company. Very good. Any other opinion? To upgrade your skills. Good to upgrade your skills. Any other? Also, I think it's important to keep the, the, the work because it, the, the boss say, sees that you don't improve your, your work. And maybe you be, uh, we can be removed from that. To be place. competitive, right? Because other people, they want your jobs. And that is true. So we need to be competitive. And at the end, teacher, it's uh, kind of to make more money, right? Definitely. I mean, yeah. Either you are going to stay with the company, you want to be in a different position, or you can move to other companies. So, yeah, that is, I guess, one of the most important things. Maybe we need to analyze because sometimes more money is also more duties, more responsibilities, it's going to affect your family. But that is the main goal. The main goal is going to be for us to, to grow, be better, have more skills and have more opportunities. Increase the knowledge. Increase yes, the knowledge. Increase the knowledge. Yeah, because that is also very important. I mean, knowledge is nowadays very, very important. Okay, my friends, so I'm going to check the attendance and we're going to finish the class of today. So let's see, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. 
Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. For you is the 101 today, Dani. Okay. Good. So, Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Present. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Good. Zuleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Very good. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope you have a very nice and wonderful weekend. So, let's see you on Monday and rest very well. Dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice weekend. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Thank you, everyone. Hey, everybody. Bye. Perfect. Hey, Danny, how are you? Well, I'm fine. I'm learning. <laughs> very good, very good. Very good. Perfect. So, well, I know that you have experience in the one ones of course. So, the first question is, um, how do you feel that you are moving on? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are? Yeah, yeah. I feel I'm learning um, that uh, this activity that you make us to, to, to read and, and, and asking us to what we are <laughs> understanding in the, in, the, in the reading is very, very, um, it's very, very good because, um, you know, um, I, I read a lot in, in English because I, well, first to to train and and to 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 learn some things that I have to know that I have to apply that I have to implement. So uh, that that kind of things is not in Spanish. Uh, I have to to read it in English because the best practices is are in English. So I have to to read uh, many things in in, in English. Very good. Uh, so I, I feel uh, I, I, I am learning. Yeah. Being, and the, um, the, the grammar is, is very, very good. And I, I, I knew that thing because I have read, <laughs> but um, in, I don't have the, <laughs> I, I don't know how to say the, um, the explanation in that way, in, in, in this way, like you uh, explain us. Very good. That's very nice that you like the activities. Actually, this is something that I do very, very often uh, for us to read and then share, uh, but we're gonna do some other activities as well. Very good. Yeah, that uh, is very good for me. <laughs> nice, nice. I'm very happy that you like it. and. Uh, do you have any questions, anything related to grammar, not only from this module, but anything that you have, any question? Mm. Question? Mm. No, no. Until now, I don't have any question. Everything's okay. fine. Yeah. Very good. 
So also yeah. remember that if you have questions in the future, you can ask in the class at any time. Also, you can ask uh, in the chat, in the group chat, or directly. I mean, you can just ask me, okay? It will be a pleasure. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Perfect. We have a okay. few minutes, so we can practice individually. So that will be good. So okay. I remember that you said that you like movies and animes and things like that. So uh, what kind yeah. of animes do you usually watch? Which are your favorite? My favorite? Um, ah, <laughs> if I had to choose one. Maybe two or three. Uh, what? Maybe two or three. The ones that you ah, like. Okay. The, um, the last. I like the most is uh, Attack on Titan. Oh, that's a very good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is Attack on Titan was wow. <laughs> very, very, very at high level for me. And also, and I like uh, Demon Slayer. Very good as well. I have very that. good is <laughs> wow <laughs> so that uh, but the, the last one the month layer is still in in, in 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 animation in the process of animation the, the manga um but the, the uh, attack on titan is over now <laughs> so um you know i haven't seen the last part of that one i i I saw the last season, but only the first part, not the last. The one. first part, yeah. Okay. okay. So now the, everything is done because I haven't checked into that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need yeah. to look for that. <laughs> yeah, so, you have to look. You have to look the the last part is wow. Oh my god! You're in Jaeger. Um, <laughs> are you? Uh, <laughs> what do you think about Erin Jaeger? Are you? Um, I don't know. Uh, do you uh, understand him? And do you uh, share their <laughs> their goals in the way he is doing? <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. I mean, I haven't seen the last part, but I know that something has to happen regarding on what what happened with his father at the beginning on the yeah. show. I, I know I'm I'm expecting I'm expecting yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. to see that one. So yeah. I know that I mean at the end he was like doing things by himself and and yeah yeah uh, it, it was kind very of focused and and uh, very and he has, he has a goal and he doesn't matter yeah. anything. It doesn't matter nothing. Yeah yeah so. yeah. I think he he has lost her. Humanity, I think, because they don't care anything. They just want to revenge. I don't know because, but if, if you if you think, oh, my mother, <laughs> wow, they killed my mother, and I have to revenge, and and they may may a promise and that they will to kill them. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that that too. Um, I like that too. Any man the most, and there is another that I have seen. And that is good. No, but um, some series, but uh, Picky Blinders. I like Picky oh. Blinders a lot. Now is the the, the it's available now. The the last. Well, the, the sixth season. Yeah, actually, season. I'm going to watch the first chapter of the final season today. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I want to see. I, that. I'm in the middle. I think there there are like eight or six episodes. I think I I'm in the third one, and it's a very good. <laughs> it's a good one, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a very good story. But I, I, they, you know, they, um, the Peaky Blinders, the gang, they really exist. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. They were like very firm. I don't know if it's exactly what we see in the, in the TV mm, show. No. Not no, right. It's too much. No, <laughs> no, no. 
uh, there were uh, another more powerful gangs than uh, Picket Blinders, but there was Picket Blinder gang. Yeah. 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 I have pictures <laughs> of the real ones, and I mean that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, with the, uh, that hat, I, I don't know what. Oh, I don't remember the name of that kind of hat, but yeah, it's like uh -huh. it's, it's really nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a kind of um um how to say um something that could as a cut, I don't know, something yeah. that can cut you. <laughs> yeah, with a razor. <laughs> savage, very savage. <laughs> yeah, that, that was crazy. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. very good TV show. Very good, Danny. So I'm very happy that we were able to speak today. So remember that Thank if you, you have questions or anything, we're going to have the chance also to have another one one uh, at the end of the course. So, uh, so let's uh, see how okay. it goes, okay? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank Perfect. you, teacher. So it was Perfect. a pleasure then. I hope to see you on Monday and have a very nice weekend. Okay. Thank you. It was a pleasure to me too. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> bye. Good night. Good night.